Hi, my name's Steven, and I'm a customer service representative here at U.S. Water Systems. If you're watching this video, odds are you're searching the internet trying to find out what water treatment is best for you. Well, you're lucky that you found us because I'm actually not here to sell you anything. I'm here to help you understand the jargon that we use here in the industry, and hopefully from there, the choice will be crystal clear. First, let's talk about point of entry filters. Point of entry is generally located where the water flows into a building, whether that's residential or commercial application. If it's flowing into a building, it would stand to reason that you need higher flow rates to support higher flow demand of water. Generally, for point of entry, we use either tank type filters, which are large and robust. Tank type filters can come in either backwashing or non-backwashing. We generally use non-backwashing if it's city water, municipal water, and we use backwashing filters if it's a commercial application or if it's well water, simply because well water is going to have more things to flush out. For point of entry, we don't just have to use tanks. We can also use cartridge type filters. Generally for point of entry, we prefer to use four and a half inch diameter filters. The industry standard sizes for filters are four and a half by 10, which is this one, four and a half by 20, two and a half by 10, and two and a half by 20. For the purpose of point of entry, we almost exclusively recommend four and a half inch filters simply because they're capable, capable of handling a larger surface area and lasting much longer. If you put a two and a half inch filter on point of entry, odds are you're going to be replacing it way too frequently. So now you should have a fundamental understanding of point of entry filters. Next, we're going to talk about point of use. Point of use is generally smaller and designed for lower flow rates. This is applicable in situations where you're filtering drinking water, whether that be a drinking water filter system or a reverse osmosis system. They're smaller because you just don't flow as much water through them because it's only at one location. Most commonly, these are cartridge type filters, never tank type filters, and two and a half inch diameter is the industry standard. There are instances where you can go larger, but we're just you know covering the basics. So now we've covered point of entry and point of use filters. Now let's talk about the overall cartridge filter structure. The most common, most frequently you'll see, is the double open-ended filter structure. It's a straight tube with an open end on either side. This works in situations where you're filtering out something like sediment, but let's say you need to filter 100% of the water 100% of the time with no bypass ever, like let's say you're filtering bacteria or some type of lethal chemical. We recommend this. This is a double O-ring. We call it a 222 seal. You have the double O-ring for a positive seal on top and a hard bottom that forces the water to go through the filter 100% of the time. It's important to remember with filters that have the 222 seal, they do require a specialty housing in order for the filter to work. Thank you for watching this brief video that just scratches the surface on types of filters. In the following videos, we'll be talking a little bit more in depth about different filters, their applications, whether it be city water, well water, whether you're trying to filter bacteria, iron, chemicals, viruses, you name it, we'll cover it. If you want to learn a little bit more, there's a link to our website and our blog in the description below. Give it a read. There's a lot of helpful information there as well. Thank you.